Hello everybody, this is Dalster, and welcome to another episode of Almost Gone or Rebuild, Episode 3. In today's episode, I will be doing Brea Mall. I'm not going to show the entire mall because it is a humongous mall, a lot bigger than Westminster Mall that I did, but I'll do some. Right over here where I'm at, this used to be a Sears. It closed down in 2018. Was it 2018? I think it was 2018. I remember because me and my mom went shopping here for the first and I think last time. And um, unfortunately, it closed down months after Christmas, you know, ended. But the reason why I want to show this year's first is because um, um, this year's um, was one of the first stores alongside other stores that were here when the Brea Mall opened in 1977. Um, I'm not gonna show the entire Sears because I already did a video about it. If you wanna check it out, you can. It's in my um, channel, um, Abandoned Sears. But I, I was gonna show you what it looks like now, but there's a person inside. I just checked right now, that was kinda creepy. So I'm not gonna show the inside, unfortunately. Maybe I will later, but here's what the front looks like. I did mention this a lot in my previous Abandoned Sears videos, but as you can tell, um, there are a lot of Sears seem to have a lot of really accessorizing things out here like benches and right here these pots. Yeah, the mall seems kind of empty today. Hardly anybody out here. I'm not going to show the license plates because I do not want to get in trouble. But um, here's what, uh, we're at the front of the Sears. This is where I usually go if I were to get on the state college bus. But over here is the Sears. And over here in the middle, right over there, straight down that way is the mall. And right there's the Macy's. So this Sears at Brea, it's a very detailed mall, as you could tell, store department. They have like this really huge set of stairs down here. And the parking lot's just really empty. It looks kind of creepy in my opinion. But I'll show you a little bit of the abandoned Sears. I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but some parts of it. This kind of reminds me of um, the one in Westminster, only this one's a lot more cleaner and greener. I think maybe I'll just talk about the history of Brayamo. I couldn't find that much, but I did find a certain amount. Yeah, not much crime has happened at the Brea Mall as I had thought. I thought there'd be a, a lot of crime, but there wasn't really. Right now, we're at the bottom floor of the Sears. I'm just gonna explore as much as I can, because there's a lot to explore today. This might be an hour video, depend, depending on how it is. Not gonna lie, guys, it's really dead silent here. It almost seems like the mall is abandoned right now. But, um... I'm at the bottom of the Sears level right now. Here are benches, like I told you, they always have some really detailed benches. Yeah, they have the lights up. I'm not sure if they're getting ready to uh, build another building here because I heard it's going to be a lifetime gym fitness soon. They still have the sale sign right there. But I think that's it. Uh, just in case if someone were to come, I, I keep hearing sirens and I don't know if they call the police or something. Yeah, it's really scenery over here at the Sears. There are a lot of flowers. Well, not a lot, but a lot of bright flowers all of a sudden. It's been raining nonstop here in California. I don't know if you could hear in the background, but there's some birds chirping. It almost seems like the first day of spring. Spring, or what it would what it would be like if it was the first day of spring. I just hope something doesn't pop out and scare the living heck out of me. It's too quiet over here. Brea Mall first opened in 1977. The Simon Property Group later owned it in 1998, such as other familiar malls like the Alamo Fashion Center, the outlet at Orange, which is an orange, out and Ontario Mills. The department stores that opened with the mall were Sears, which is the one we're seeing right now, and May Company. Later on, Broadway and Nordstrom came along. In the 1970s and 1980s, Brea Mall had an 
ice skating rink but was later removed to make way for a bigger court. This was the second Nordstrom opening in California. The Nordstrom building got larger and a J.W. Robinson's was added in the 1990s. The May Company and J.W. Robinson's merged in the 1990s to become Robinson's May. The Broadway store later turned into Macy's. In 2006, Robinson's May became a Macy's furniture store. It also had a United Artists Cinema at the time. In the, I'm assuming maybe the 1980s or 1990s. Other stores during the past were Chess King, Kinder Photo, Tom McGann, I think that's how I'm pronouncing it, Zales Jewelry, Learner Shops, Hagen Days Ice Cream, Earthcraft, Papa Gallo, One Potato Two, California Crisp, a Knife Gallery for some reason, and so much more. So right over here in front of me is the Nordstrom. Supposedly this is the second one that opened here in California. And over here next to it are parking lots. Like I said, the Brea Mall is a huge mall. So there's probably going to be a lot of filming. Yeah, so right here, that's the Nordstrom. A closer look up too, by the way. It's a really big one too. I don't really shop in Nordstrom because it's very... It's pretty much for rich people. And also, I think their clothing's kind of boring, too, in my opinion. Also, I thought it was Nordstorm, not Nords Nordstrom. That's crazy. I wonder whose car is that over there. Really nice trees. It almost seems like it's almost spring, huh? But I'm gonna go to the entrance of this year's. Also because there's a store I want to talk about. Let's see if I can remember where it was. Right here next to the one of the entrances at Brea is the spa at the Glen. I thought it looked really nice though. That's why I wanted to show it. All right, just look at the water. It's really soothing. <laughs> ASMR for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I think we're just gonna go inside the mall and then when, when I manage to find an outer entrance, then I'll show it to you guys. Oh, wow, look at all these old classic vintage clocks. It's at this store. And right here is where there used to be an entrance for the mall to enter the Sears or the Sears to enter the mall. But as you can see, it's all blocked. I wonder if this is like for a future project or something. And right here, I don't know what restaurant this was, but it was obviously a restaurant. I don't know which one though. I wonder if they would have like a sink right in front of it. I don't really go to Brea Mall that much unless I really have to. But um, I don't have many memories of the mall, unfortunately. Okay, so right around this area, I remember it used to be a Disney store. But unfortunately, um, like many Disney stores, they have all closed down except the ones at Disneyland or Downtown Disney. I did a video on the Disney store closing at Brea a couple months ago. Actually, I think it was 2020 or 2021. You can check that out on my channel if you want. But now it's a, I think it's an open market OC. Or it could be a Stitch or Stitch Chick, I don't know. Or it could be both, because it was kind of big. It had like a princess castle right in the middle of it too. So interesting fact about this Starbucks right here is that someone got tested positive during the rise of the pandemic in 2020. I think it was around Christmas time. But don't worry, I think they're okay now. Yeah, when they got tested positive at this Starbucks, I think they had to close the entire mall. But I'm pretty sure they're all vaccinated now, so you could go in here if you want. I already went here, by the way, a couple months ago. And this is the K Jewelers. So I'm gonna talk about this store in a couple minutes, but they actually had like a bunch of robbers like smash the little glass mirrors right there. Wow, they have a Tesla shop. <laughs> so right here in the middle is the fountain. 
Usually a lot of people relax and come in here. I don't know if you can tell from the background. You could also put your panties here too. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why anyone would want to play in the water though. Looks kind of like you could get sick from it or something. Yeah, here's what the swimming at the mall looks like. This wasn't like that, I think, during the beginning of the days when it first opened. Really beautiful, but... Okay, so one of the reasons why I wanted to film Raya Mall today was because of this store right here, Morphe. And as you can tell from this sign right here, it's gonna be a the room beauty shop now. I'm not sure if it's like that with the tire company or it's just a different company. But um, the reason why I wanted to mention Morphe is because um, they did not um, they did not inform their employees about closing the store. Instead, they just told them when they came in, "Oh, we're closing. By the way, get out." If you want more detail about how the store closed, I would check on the drama channels. I would check Adam McIntyre, Peter Mon, and I think Dustin Daly has more of a detailed description about the the store and how it closed but it apparently closed down because um they were having really rough time with sales they did have a lot of they did make a lot of money back in the day but they had to cut ties with some problematic youtubers which again don't associate yourself with problematic youtubers and allegedly morphe was under a lot of debt that's why they had to close it down but it is gonna be another shop also if you come after me I'm using this for commentary purposes and for documentation, not to insult anybody or anything, by the way. Yeah, can you believe this company shut down? Like all of them without even telling their employees about it too. But yeah, Morphe used to be on top of their game, but now they're on top of the depth. And from what it looks like, from what I heard, by the way. Inside of box, box lunch. And look, they have this little heart-shaped um, puzzle of Spider-Man and Mary Jane, or MJ, for the ones that watch the one with the, um, Tom Holland and Zendaya. And it's here in Fox Lynch. It's from the Hercules. It's $63.99, by the way, if you want to get it. Let me see, come on. Okay, and this Pikachu bag is $63.99. They also have Miss Marvel shirts, by the way. There's two of them, by the way. If you're worried, you might not be able to buy the Pikachu one. I think it's for Halloween season or something, that's why. Right here, they're making another candle store. I don't know what store this was at the time. Look at this heart-shaped chocolate candy here. What yeah. about this Q store is that it used to be a Charlotte Russ, but I guess it closed down. I actually bought a dress, a really nice dress here for to go to the beach. And you know, then in July, that whole incident, heartbreak thing happened in 2022. So this is where I bought my dress actually. I'm pretty sure it used to be a Charlotte Russ, but I guess it it's now a Q store. Okay, interesting fact about the Apple Store. I actually bought an iPod Touch for my brother when I first went here. It's because I felt bad for him because um, his phone broke. So I gave him an iPod Touch. Right over here is a vacant store. There is something in the back, but I don't know how much I could show. I think at one point it was an AT&T store or something. But that's pretty much it. I can't show that much because the security could be coming. Ugh. Interesting fact about this Forever 21, I actually had an interview here. My dad was nice enough to take me all the way from Anaheim to here to, for the job interview. I think they had like a job fair or something. Uh, you can enter to win if you want. It's a really nice car though. Really nice car too, but eh. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. So right here is an abandoned restaurant, which is about to be a ramen king. It seems like a lot of these abandoned vacant spaces are always occupied with new ones later on. It's like a little hole at the restaurant right here. 
I don't know if you guys could see closely. Don't tell anyone, by the way. <laughs> Look at these cute little gnomes. It is the month of February, actually. This is from Kevin Jewelers, by the way. Dang, that's expensive. Oh, so pretty though. For Valentine's Day. This is from Pandora, by the way. Not the Avatar Land. So beautiful. You look beautiful. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> now that's the key to the woman's heart. Vacant space. And it's going to be in 5SG Select, I think, or SSG Select. It used to be a, a boba rally, but now it's going to be another store. I think it's going to be a store, not a food place. Another interesting thing about the Brea Mall is the Jenny Rivera Fashion store it's actually run by her kids i think it's really interesting but i think you have to book an appointment to get in there i'm just saying in case you were to come but rest in peace jenny rivera really sad what happened to her though and it makes sense to have la michoacana over here because of butterfly jenny rivera was all about you know being a butterfly i remember she had a song i can't remember what it was called Mariposa del Barrio, yeah. I watched that soap opera and it's on Netflix if you want to watch it too. I did not know that. I just realized it till now <laughs> about the butterfly being next to her shop. That's insane. Here's the bathroom area and this cute little teddy bear. Oh, by the way, it's Girl Scout season this year, I forgot. I just got my cookies yesterday for my brother. Wakanda forever. February 1 is also the day that Black Panther Wakanda forever gets released on Disney Plus. If you want to watch it. So now we're going to the top floor. Look at all this Valentine's merch for, from Hot Topic actually. Mostly like for goss and stuff, but it does look cool. I'm at the top floor in case you didn't know. And right over here is kind of a bit abandoned. Right over here in the middle, that's where the, I think that's where the Sears entrance would be. But because it's been closed down since 2018, it, they, they have sealed it. Kind of like what they did at Westminster Mall. In this area too. Yeah, there's not a lot of people around here actually. So I'm going to talk about the crimes that happened here and there's really not much crime actually but I did find one let me see okay so in 2014 a man exposed himself to a store worker in the mall the police found him in San Diego it turns out he was a SE to the X offender I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word here he flashed himself to a woman at a Macy's. It said on the article that he wanted to do lewd things to her, like really nasty stuff to her. He was able to remove his GPS or track device he had on him. It is said that he might have done it in other places too, such as Huntington Beach and Miss Mission Viejo, which is kind of gross to be honest. Well, not the cities, by the way, but um, the... Now that they just released this offender guy up out on the streets, I think maybe, yeah, it wasn't 2014. I was gonna say, oh, maybe it was COVID related, but it's not actually. I think he got released like in December of 2013, and then you know he came over here, which is kind of creepy. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could hear me, but I'm wearing a mask. Well, I'm I was wearing a mask. Hey, that's the restaurant that we went down from over there. A <laughs> the giant Pikachu in that car. Toy Story car. Optimus Toys. I actually bought a, uh, like a toy car for my brother on Christmas. They have an Iron Man model over here. <laughs> they have Tiffany too. She looks creepy though. So as it turns out at the K Jewelers, the jewelry store, I can't seem to pronounce jewelers right for some reason. <laughs> In 2022, there were these two guys that um, smashed um, the jewelry boxes that have all the jewelry. 
with hammers and they ended up like robbing the whole place like not the whole place but stole some jewelry and some people thought it was firearms but it wasn't it was just hammers like destroying glasses and stuff um have they been caught i have no idea i don't know why it's a, always a, a k jeweler so either they really have like romantic girlfriends or something because i remember at westminster mall they did the same thing too but this happened in 2022 of april so almost a year ago actually open like a pop mart around here later on they also have a little machine right here it looks really cool though so that's the starbucks down there and here's the elevator right in the middle over here and then there's the ceiling that i showed a couple minutes ago but it looks really nice so the architecture here's another vacant store there's nothing or no sign of another store coming in this one i don't know what this was anyway well actually never mind it's actually gonna be an allen's candle store Oh, look how beautiful this other ceiling is here. It's cooked by Nordstrom. I thought it was Nordstrom. Could it be the Mandela effect? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, maybe. Yeah, here's the close-up of the water fountain. I had to block it because um, there's some kids in there. You know, I don't want to expose children. <laughs> That store entrance is right here. OSIM. I don't know what that is. Not gonna lie, that guy looks kinda handsome. <laughs> it's from um, Banana Republic. Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> A lot cuter looking than those other guys I met. So I'm close by the Oakley store right here, and I didn't even notice this mural full of sunglasses. I never knew that about this store. I always thought it was just a wall, but if you look closely, it's actually sunglasses. I don't know if they're used. I think they're just like statued or something. Some cementized or something. Yeah, and here's the food court. I think this is where they had the ice rink over here back then in the 80s and 70s. I have to think this probably was an ice skating rink back in the day. Oh, look at that red car. It's so beautiful. Here's a pokey way that's been abandoned or about to open, but it looks like it's closed. Yeah, here's the Simon sign, because it's owned by Simon right now. Okay, here's another little abandoned vacant store. And here's the California Pizza Kitchen, which is not my favorite. I actually got something for $10, and it was like a like a little tray. It was like the size of a hot dog, I want to say, maybe a nacho. One of those nacho carrying things, and it was awful. It was like corn and a bunch of stuff. Worst customer service I have in this one. Yeah, so here's another vacant restaurant, by the way. It's not the California Pizza Kitchen. I thought it closed down. I wish. It might be a Asian restaurant soon. Here's the Macy's where unfortunately that one SD you know what to the ex-offender came in and flashed his disgusting body parts to the one of the workers i'm not sure she still works here though i don't think so this heart crystal i'm not sure if it's supposed to be an amethyst crystal or just like a heart stone or something here's a build-a-bear <laughs> there's one in knots too look at all these cute little stuffed animals such the one with the golden heart and they're all so cute the monkey wow look at that rose bear <laughs> He's so cute. Get a stuffed frog too if you want one. Unfrogettable. <laughs> I don't have a built up but I haven't got one. Maybe later. I'm looking. Oh, it's just this one. I should get one. Maybe once I get a job, then I'll get one. A stable job, not a short term job. Oh, this is the bear I wanted to show you guys. Isn't he so cute with this cute little heart? Gigantic minion right here. You can't touch it though. So I am outside of JCPenney and across from me there's like this golf center. There's also like a embassy hotel right here across from the Brea Mall. And yeah, there's the JCPenney logo right there. I'll try to get closer to get a good look. But yeah, I think Either this one or the Macy's used to be a Robinson's Mayor Broadway. 
there wasn't really as much history as I, as I could find. Okay, I do apologize for not setting up my information because uh, one of my laptop chargers got ripped. So I'm still waiting on my other laptop charger to come in. So I usually do all my work in my laptop, but unfortunately I can't use it because the charger's not working. So to answer the question, I think in my opinion, Brian Mall's doing okay. I thought I saw more abandoned malls, which is why I wanted to come over here, but it looks like all those abandoned vacant areas, the little, that used to be stores are now being replaced by other stores. So it's kind of a competition in this mall against other stores. It's not like a skin perfection type of building over here. Anyway, I think it's gonna be okay for the Brea Mall. I don't think any problems are gonna come here. Yeah, it's an embassy suite from the Hilton. So they're probably gonna make more hotels around this mall pretty soon. Look how structured it is. I have a lot of businesses around here too. I had a Christmas party at my job and they have the best chicken and pasta ever at this place. It's called Stonefire. Well, that was pretty much it of the Brea Mall. Honestly, it doesn't look like it's gonna be abandoned for a really long time and I feel like the business is doing okay so far Other than the California pizza Which wasn't good service by the way. Really expensive too Anyway uh, This is Dalster and I'll see you guys in the next video comment like subscribe for more abandonings more almost gone or rebuild episodes decorations and everything else i'll see you guys next time and by the way we're almost at 100 subscribers too so thank you guys and i'll see you later bye